Hi, I'm Trish from Schumacher Racing and I'd like to introduce you to our new two-wheel drive, the Cougar LD2. On first glances, you'll see that we have a new body shell, a new front end, and with the body shell off, you'll see some goodies on the inside. So we'll take a look at the front end first. You'll see that we have a new top plate, bottom plate, bumper, pivot block assembly. And the whole advantage of all of this is starting with the pivot block is we can raise and lower it. By raising it, it's actually in the kit position when it's at the raise position, and that's like got the most bite in a corner that you feel. Whereas when we lower it, we find that we generate a bit more corner speed, which has been pretty good for like when we go on carpet tracks. So then we can really go through a corner and the car rolls just more naturally on the front. With other bits coupled to the pivot block, you'll see that the radius arms can screw into two positions. And that allows us to go from the kit position, which is parallel, which has got the most bite again, to um, this more angled position, which really smoothens off the steering, just takes away a little bit of outside wheel lock through the turn. So that would be nice for certain tracks that feel very edgy and twitchy. So going back to the centre track rod, you'll see that we've got horizontal ball studs now, which is great because we can adjust that position very much. So if you want to have more mid-corner steering, we generally move it back. We go back down to one millimetre. It's got two millimetre in the kit, so that's something you can play with out of the box, which is really great. Moving to the front camber link bracket, we have three positions, so you can adjust, obviously, that length for all conditions that you're gonna be racing on. But the one thing that you'll see is there's quite a stack of washers under there that allows us to play with the, the height of that ball and really change how the car's gripping through the corner. So if you're on Astro, you'll be running a few more washers, whereas when you move your way over to carpet racing, you can drop it down even more, generate a bit more grip there. Moving to the outboard, we've got more durable five degree yokes on the car in the kits, which is great. And you'll know from seeing our suspension previously, we've got our uh, class leading geometry with the wishbones, the hub carriers, where you've got all that adjustability for axle heights, wheelbase, as well as your positions on the shock tower and wishbone to play over the shocks. We are carrying over our successful big bores and they're connected to the S2 shock tower, which in turn is connected to our new top plate. To talk about one thing that this lens advantage to is that it's more durable, which is brilliant for those days that you have a crash, as well as you'll be able to fit a survey saver if you wish to. And moving to the bottom plate, we can adjust the chassis length. And at the moment, we're on a minus five setting. You can put an insert in there that makes it a, what will be a zero setting. And that will be for days where the track's very, very tricky, but most of the time you'll be on the kit setting, which is the minus five for maximum steering as well as balance. Moving to the radio tray, we can position it in three places. And that's just using an M2.5 screw in the chassis, nice and quick, nice and easy. And that will allow you to adjust the balance of the car. Again, if you're on a day where the car's a bit edgy, you can move it back. If you need more steering, you can move it forwards. We have new side pods, which are made from a new composite which are screwed onto a 2.5 aluminium chassis. And as a combination, we've got improved chassis stiffness. You'll see on top of the side pods, we have our new LiPo mounting system, which allows us to have adjustability forwards to back, where you have multiple locations, as well as an easy access um, hook system, which holds the LiPo in. And you can tune that with washers for the different battery heights. The advantage of moving the battery forwards and backwards is for conditions where if the grip is too high and you want to smooth the car out, we can go to the middle. If we want to keep the front tyres on the ground, we can move it forwards. Whereas if we want a bit more rear traction out of the corner, we can move the battery back. Our popular laydown transmission has some new internals with a new CNC machined idler and a more durable gear diff that's connected to some 90 degree phase drive shafts. These are in the CVD form and they allow the car to have more power steering whilst maintaining drive. Moving then out to the hub carriers, you have a larger outboard bearing, 
which gives more durability again for many hard landings, all those types of things, keeps that wheel pointing straight and doing exactly what you want it to. So that was a quick overview of our new Cougar LD2. For more information, check out racing-cars.com. See you at the track.